Welcome to Naresh IT. My name is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk about an important discussion how class dot for name internally registers JDBC driver with driver manager service. First, let us try to understand what is a driver manager service. It is a built in service in our what Java application. It is invisible built in service in every Java application having capability of managing set of JDBC driver softwares. When it will maintain? If you ask to maintain. How to maintain it? How to ask driver manager service to maintain certain JDBC driver software? Very simple. You take a JDBC driver class create object and keep that object in the driver manager service. Automatically, driver manager service becomes ready to manage the driver software. That means, to register any JDBC driver software with what? Driver manager service. Okay. So, we need to take JDBC driver class object and you have to place that object in the driver manager service. You know that every JDBC driver is identified with its what? Driver class name. So, create object for the driver class and keep that object with the driver manager service. Happily, happily it will start managing JDBC driver. So, that uh, in our application whenever we want to use that driver, happily we can ask driver manager service, use so and so driver, establish the connection, use so and so driver, uh, send and execute the Korean database software, use so and so driver, do something else on the database software. Sir, first of all tell me sir, how to register a driver with the driver manager service. So, for that purpose, I will take type 1 driver type 1 JDBC driver software registration. What should I do? I have to create object for the driver class. Tell me what is the type 1 JDBC driver class name? Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. Just take that class create object and register that object with one driver manager service. Uh, what is the method we got? There is a register driver method in driver manager class. By calling that method, we can register driver with the driver manager service. What is the code here? Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. Okay. Driver is equal to new Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver of. Yes, here I created object for JDBC driver class. Now, what I am doing there? Driver manager dot register driver driver. Ultimately, what is happening? I create a driver class object and I register that object with what? Driver manager service. So, that our application happily start using JDBC driver to communicate with the database software. That is nice. But uh, if you look at any application of real time practices, any JDBC application of real time practices, any co project of real time practices, you never see these two lines of code. No one creates object for driver class, no one calls what? Driver manager dot register driver method. What they do? Generally, they use this alternate code. What is that alternate code they use? The alternate code they use is class dot for name. Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver. This is the alternate code they use. We know that class dot for name method makes JVM to load the given driver class. And we also know that this method never creates the object of driver class. In fact, any class, this method just loads the given class. Right now, given class is what? Driver class. This method does not create the object of loaded class. What is the given class? Driver class. That means, it does not create the object of driver class. But I can say this method is registering driver with driver manager service. That means, 
though this method is not doing that work some magic is happening internally some magic is happening internally some special code is executing internally so that driver is registered with the driver manager service we would like to see what is that magic code very simple was this method loads the driver class does not create the object of driver class but still i am saying this method is registering driver with driver manager service actually two lines of code is required these two lines of code is required for registration of the driver but this method directly or indirectly not producing that one according to the knowledge we got about class dot for name then what's happening yes that is what i am going to deliver in this particular video let's see the internal process class dot for name method takes the driver class makes a jvm to load the class in this process static block of the driver class executes luckily in the static block of every jdbc driver class two lines of code will be there one line is what creating object for a driver class another one is what registering driver with driver manager service by calling driver manager dot register driver method that means in the driver class static block definitely what these two lines of code is there so that even though class dot for name is not registering driver since it is making jvm to load the driver class in this process static block of the driver class executes due to that static block definitely what the driver will be registered automatically with the driver manager service a point to be noticed over here is this is static block not only there in type 1 driver class this static block is there in what other driver classes you take arkil thin driver supply driver class their static block is there oca driver you take static block is there connector j driver given by mysql you take static block is there postgresql supplied jdbc driver you take there also static block is there that's why you take any driver there is no need of writing two lines of code to register driver with the driver manager service just we need to write the only one line of code so in case of arkil thin driver i will write in the form of what arkil dot jdbc dot driver dot arkil driver in case of postgres equal driver i will write org dot postgres equal dot driver in case of mysql i will write org dot gjt dot mm dot mysql dot driver interesting thing is in this driver class static block is there having logic to register driver with the driver main is service here also static block is there having similar code here also static block is there having similar code there also static block is there having similar code that means if i can make that static block getting executed rest of the story will be taken care by static block tell me when static block executes whenever jvm loads the class how to make jvm to load the class explicitly by using what class dot for name you know that class dot for name is a very powerful method in java apis which can ask jvm to load given class dynamically at what time at run time sir can you show pro practically in every driver class this kind of static block is there and uh, that static block is having what code to register driver with the driver manager service first of all let me give the sample code here if you take jdbc odbc driver dot java super in that one code will be like this jdbc odbc driver directly or indirectly implements what java dot sql dot driver 
there you have static block and in the static block definitely these two lines of code is available may not be as it is okay directly or indirectly this kind of code is available some other methods and other blocks end of the class so once again see the flow class dot for name method loads the driver class through jvm in this process static block of the driver class executes static block is having code to create a driver class object and to register that object with the driver manager service that's why credit should be given to static block for registration of the driver not the class dot for name because class dot for name is not responsible to register the driver responsible to load the driver class but who is doing that work static block is doing this work so instead of talking this statement theoretically for multiple times let me show practically so you know that up to java 7 i mean this is jdk 1.7 type 1 driver is there from java 8 onwards they removed it because no one is using it as Uh, become burden to jdk software industry only maybe in academic purpose or while talking to non conventional database software like uh, ms excel text file only people are using type 1 driver so that's why they removed what type uh, type 1 jdbc driver from java 8 no doubt in that from java 8 that's fine so i want to open this type 1 jdbc driver class and i want to show the static block static block of that saying that logic of registering driver is there in that static block so let me do that work so in my system c drive program files java so java 8 is there java 7 is there but i will choose java 7 right so there is a jre folder Lib folder. There you can see rt dot jar. There is nothing but runtime dot jar. Okay, this even maintains lot of Java APIs. Okay, let me open with WinRAR. That's fine. Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot. Yes, you see there is a class called JDBC ODBC driver. so they have given only dot class file dot class file means only byte code no source code how can you show the source code fine no problem in my system i have installed java d compiler java d compiler the compi d compiler name is dj java d compiler okay compiler gives byte code from source code d compiler gives source code from what byte code no doubt in that so let's see i will open this so sir it's a dot class file but source code is coming how you are managing to get the source code even though it's a dot class file simple i use a decompiler support and the decompiler is giving me what source code so you go there you will see one uh, static block at the bottom yes you might have seen one static block here fine right observe very carefully look at this line seriously jdbc odbc driver jdbc odbc driver new jdbc odbc driver object for current driver class and observe this line also it is registering that driver with what driver manager service so due to this we just use class dot for name to load the driver class due to this jvm loads the driver class in that process static block execute and static block takes a take care of what remaining process what is that remaining process registering driver with the driver manager service do observe one thing i am not talking this one theoretically i am talking with practical proof let me show that not only the outdated type 1 driver even only for proof of concept i have taken type 1 driver let me prove that the arkil thin driver which is there in ojdbc 6.0 or ojdbc 14.0 is also having this kind of what static block in its a driver class where code will be there to register driver with what driver manager service so shall we see that yeah so there is a folder called jdbc drivers fine there we got ojdbc 14.0 or you can open ojdbc 6.0 
so there i am opening with winrar so there is uh, something called arkil there is something called uh, jdbc there is something called driver yes look for a class called look for a class called what arkil driver look for a class called arkil driver so there you please search for a what block here static block please search for what block static block yeah here you can see the static block here here you can see the static block observe this code nice carefully default variable is a reference variable name new arkel driver creating object for driver class and what is this driver main is a dot registered driver default driver again calling what driver main is a registered driver method yes to register the driver with driver main as a service now i can say confidently all the jdbc driver softwares supplies one driver class in the driver class definitely what this kind of code is available to register the driver with what driver main as a service where that code is available in the static block that's why stop writing two lines of code or lot of lines of code to register driver with driver manager service just work with class dot for name okay to make the driver class loaded by jvm and a static block of driver class will take care of what rest of the activities so that's why the industry's best practice to register driver with a driver manager service is what class dot for name class dot for name is not registering here class dot for name is just loading the driver class entire magic is done by whom static block of the driver class see if into your ask what is the best way of registering driver means no doubt class dot for name what are the different ways of registering driver means as i talked in other videos there are multiple ways and you have to talk all these ways and you have to tell what is the problem with each approach what is the limitation with each approach and how does class dot for name is solving that problem so that you have to talk multiple ways to the Uh, to the to register the driver with the driver manager service but no doubt the best way and industry practice way is what class dot for name but uh, let me add one more point from java 6 nothing but jdbc 4 onwards because along with the java 6 they have even released jdbc 4 auto loading of driver class feature has come Now, there is no need of even writing what class dot for name what is that class dot for name so when you call driver manager dot get connection method driver manager class only automatically what loads the driver class and even i talked how auto loading of driver class happens okay in another video okay you can see that particular video so the conclusion is class dot for name is not doing anything the static block of driver class is doing the magic okay so that's why if someone ask about internals always talk about what static block of the driver class thank you i hope you benefited with this video mm -hmm.